Last week, we met with the team at Terrain at Styres and learned how to make a beautiful birch holiday wreath. This week, the Terrain team is back and showing us how to make a natural twig armature to dress up your holiday flowers and vases. So, let's get started. Hi, I am Kat Bruni and I am a visual display artist here at Terrain at Styres. Um, today I'm going to show you how to make these twig armatures for your amaryllis bulbs. So the first step would be to choose a vessel. Um, we like these clear vessels because you can see the activity of the bulb growing and also um, so that kind of disappears in your structure. Um, the great thing about amaryllis bulbs is that they don't need a whole lot of water and they don't need any soil. So really what you fill your vessel with is anything that will act as a support just to hold the bulbs up. It doesn't need to actually hold soil. So we've used some rocks and some moss here. You can also use pine cones or uh, some bark. Anything really that will just create a uh, support for it. So your next step will be to um, set your bulbs up in your actual vessel um, and make sure that they're supported and standing upright. Um, these bulbs that I have here are wrapped in fabric. This is kind of adds some interest but also um, can help hold a little moisture against it and help it stand up a little bit better. So place them in here and you can do just one or you can do a few, but just make sure that they're supported and standing straight up. Okay, so your next step will be to um, build your structure. Um, basically, I've collected just branches that you can find anywhere in your backyard. Um, these, great, these branches are great, they have lichen on them, which just adds a little bit of interest. That's just a, a moss or fungus that's growing on it. You can also use birch branches. Um, these are just basic branches from the backyard. So once you have your branches, the only other thing you need is this uh, tie wire, which you can find at any uh, hardware store. It's pretty easy to find. Um, and you can start to make your form. I've started one here. What I like to do is to lay the sticks out how you want them to go and how they're going to kind of line up as, as you go around. And you simply just wrap the wire around the sticks as you go in almost in a weaving fashion. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's kind of it's very organic form, so don't go crazy trying to get it perfect. But just enough to hold the sticks in place. And I like to do one at the top and at the bottom so that it stays together a little better. And you just continue from there based on how big your vessel is. So once you have your structure completely finished, you simply drop your vessel into the center. And you can kind of situate it so it's the way you like it. But as you can see, this one's not perfect, but it has a really cool effect when it's finished. To add a bit more detail, don't forget that you can wrap ribbon through the bottom to add a little bit of extra color. And again, the great thing about amaryllis bulbs is that they don't need to um, be in a direct water source. So a great way to add some color and interest to it, maybe before it blooms, is to wrap the bulb in some fabric. Um, it's also a great way to use some kind of leftover fabric you have. You don't need a lot. Um, so basically, you can wrap the entire roots and just continue to wrap it all the way around. Um, not too tight, but just tight enough to keep it secure. Um, and also you can wrap it a little bit thicker around the top because this will also help support it when it's sitting in your vessel. And when you get to the end, um, so that you don't have to tie it off or you know ruin anything, you can simply just tuck it in to one of your folds. Thanks again to everyone at Terrain for sharing these great holiday craft ideas. You can visit Terrain at www.shopterrain.com or terrainathome.com.